are we up to today? Well, I have a cable just showed up. And I'm about to go away for a three day filming trip and some rest and relaxation. Um, so I'm planning on filming some of it, which means I need to uh, actually make a microphone. Now I have a uh, GoPro media mod that I have on a helmet mount um, and I attached an external microphone onto a little boom mic. But uh, when I'm driving, it's not really, it doesn't look great, but it's also not convenient for me to wear that helmet in the vehicle. Um, I also hit by the roof without it anyway. So I've got this five meter cable, um, short of actually wiring up a connector myself. I thought I'd buy this five meter cable, chop it in half and make two microphones out of it. So uh, I'm going to reel off a comfortable amount of this, chop it in half. And uh, in this box of bits, I have some uh, electric microphone condenser inserts here. And I'm going to solder one of them onto the end. It's as simple as that to make a microphone. And I have a little bit of foam from some earmuffs, which works really well as a wind filter. All right, let's figure out how much of this we're going to need. Um, and yes, I'm pulling this out of the real wrong, guys. I'm doing it. Like a lot of things on my videos, I do the occasional little thing just to bug everybody. That's um, pretty good. There's probably about two and a half meters or thereabouts there. So we'll take this and go snip. And uh, we'll use that other side of it later on. We'll take this lot, separate these two. And this is where we need to hire a pair of strippers. Or oh, I do have a pair in the house here, so these young ladies should do the job well. Right. Although, actually, I probably misspoke there. If you're going to have strippers, probably the young ones are probably not the ones you want. And that's where I make a big social faux pas on my video that was intended to be a joke and now sounds unwholesomely wrong. But I'm sure people are laughing about it. All right, what we've done here is we have separated out our shield, um, which is the ground, and that goes to the sleeve. For the sake of holding these together, I'm gonna twist them all together here, and we will solder those. This is where we turn on the iron to warm up. And uh, what we'll do is we'll strip these two, which we, I think we've done our dash with the strippers. I think they're angry with me, so we'll use a pair of flush cutters here and we're going to strip our left and right channels together as well and that will become our positive wire for the condenser insert all right let's get this iron warmed up now i keep losing track of where all my blue tack is so we're going to open yet another pack of the stuff i think this is about the fifth one this week but it's only two bucks a pack i have seen uh, i'm told that this stuff was developed for the US space program um, to help stop things from floating around in orbit. Um, but uh, Yanks have never heard of it, apparently. And on top of that, I have watched videos of the space station and they're holding stuff down with Velcro tape. I wonder what happened there, because this stuff is magic. Especially when I do this. And it also holds up to really high temperatures. I use it for holding back molten metal. It even holds up to molten brass. Amazingly. Now we need an outlet fan and we're going to tin this. I dropped my solder the other day so it rolled itself up onto the spool conveniently. We'll do you and I think we're going to tin this right back close. We don't want a lot of overhang. All right, we'll do that. If my extraction fan sounds a little funny, it's because I knocked the blade off it the other day. Now, I want my insert to be at a slight angle on the end of this cable, so that's why I'm trimming things that way. Let's find ourselves an insert. Um, there should be one in here. And I have washed the residue of the hand sanitizer uh, off my hands, so I'm not covered in oils. Now, when you're looking at these condenser inserts, I'm going to need a different zoom level here to show you. All right, we're at a slightly higher zoom level here. You will notice on these condenser inserts that on this side, there are these little um, bits of circuit track running to the outside of the can. That's the negative terminal, or the ground. 
Um, now, these are usually pretty well tinned, so I think I can probably just tack that straight on there. Um, if I heat the top of this and hold it for a minute, it should liquefy the solder underneath. And then we lift off again, and that should make a nice strong bond there. Um, and it doesn't matter if that touches the outside can because that's connected. Um, now what we need is a pair of tweezers here, which I'll grab off camera. And uh, we'll try and give this a nice appropriate bend. I may have made this a touch too long. But um, doing it this way takes the strain off that smaller conductor and it's less likely to rip it off the, the back of the microphone here. Now this is where you burn your fingers by the way. But we'll see how we go. I've got partially numb fingers anyway. Alright. There is our condenser mic. Now that's pretty much all you've got to do to make yourself a microphone out of one of these leads. Now um, I'm going to attach some foam over this. So let me go find a piece of that. Alright, we've got a piece of this foam and I'm actually starting to run out of this stuff a bit. So uh, I'm going to be a little sparing with this. I might actually end up just folding that over it. Um, if I've got enough, normally I would cut it in half and glue two sides together. Um, and that might be still what I do. It'll give me a bit of thinking off camera and we'll come up with a solution. So I think I'm going to try a risky maneuver here and try and make two sections with a pair of scissors which apparently worked and now I'll glue these together as to it's like a clamshell half over this uh, if we swing our camera around a little bit so we might do that and glue the other half on like so uh, I have some super glue kicking around hot glue works exceptionally well on these too um, now blue tack to the rescue we're going to hold our microphone in place there like that we'll whack a bit of glue just on one corner first just to get these two halves sticking initially and this stuff will get exothermic so you can burn yourself from the thermal reaction of the glue I might have to do this off camera right so the method I've decided to, uh, to uh, stick to I've got these two corners stuck together I'm going to sit here and hold these and I'm going to dribble a bit around the edge try and make a little pocket or pouch just as they bond like this I'm just going to dab along the corner and give it a few moments to set and then I'll trim it up afterwards to make it look a little better although you guys aren't likely to see these things in the video that I'm doing so looks don't really matter all that much alright so we're working around the edge here I'll hold all this together and uh, we'll be back when it's set. Alright, so um, I managed to crimp it down whilst the glue set with a pair of pliers with a little brush of um, sewing machine oil on there. Um, clearly not enough, so these will get a dip in acetone later to clean them up. Um, this bit I'm just going to trim a little bit off the side here just to make it look slightly better even though it's still a bit of a backyard job. I've used one of the original twist ties on the bottom here rather than gluing it on because I want this to be field repairable. So I can untwist that, remove it and um, yeah, re-solder an insert if I need to. But that's my field microphone for today's trip. And I've got foam and glue stuck to my fingers. Every single time I use super glue, it gets stuck to my fingers. So keep some acetone on hand, guys, if you're dealing with super glue. Um, I have a massive bottle of it. That I'm going to deal with. So anyway, hope you had fun. That's how you make a microphone. So now I'm going to head out and uh, film with it. So see you later. Stay safe. Have a thumbs up that's in the wrong direction. And uh, yeah, we'll have a new video. Soon.